Welcome back YouTube. Today we're going to go through how to build muscle and stay lean. Okay, One of the biggest things when it comes to building muscle mass that people want to do is be able to keep a certain level of leanness. Okay, no, People don't want to add body fat while trying to build muscle mass. I'm going to walk through one, whether that's possible, and two, how we can the factors we need to consider to try and go around that the best way. So in terms of whether it's possible, here's what you have to understand. Okay, To build muscle mass, you need to be in a calorie surplus. Okay, So you need to be in a position where you are taking in more food than you are burning. Okay, That's going to put your body in an ideal position to build muscle mass, if you're looking to build muscle mass long term. okay. And when you're in a surplus, your body is not going to use that surplus to build just 100% muscle. Okay. In fact, in the process of adding muscle mass and adding body fat, it's easier for your body to add body fat than it is muscle mass. So when you're in a surplus for a long, long period of time, you will accumulate body fat. However, if you're very lean at the beginning of your mass gaining phase, if you are careful about it, and we'll go over these two factors in a minute, and you're, you keep the rate of body fat um, accumulation low, small, and then you stop your mass gaining phase when you're still relatively lean. You stop your mass gaining phase before you uh, let body fat accumulate to a position that you would like or don't want. Then yes, you can add muscle mass while being lean. However, like I said at the very beginning, the accumulation of body fat is going to happen when you're in a surplus. And therefore, depending on the amount of body uh, muscle mass you want to gain, and depending on how long you're in a mass gaining phase for, then staying lean maybe shouldn't be your primary focus <clears throat> because potentially if you're trying just to stay lean in a masculine phase, you might actually be holding yourself back a little bit from the potential of adding more muscle mass. But we're going to go through now two factors that you can talk about, you can talk about, and you can think about, you consider while going through a mass gaining phase to try and at least limit the rate of body fat um, being gained. Because that way you're going to be able to stay in a masculine phase for longer before you need to cut back. Um, so it's going to be a little bit beneficial for your goal. Okay, so as we spoke about, a calorie surplus is going to put your body in an ideal situation to build muscle mass, right? Being in a calorie surplus just means you have excess energy. That excess energy, if other things are, other factors are there like resistance training, progressive overload, good stimulus, all that good stuff, some of that energy is going to go be put towards building muscle mass, right? But some of that energy, excess energy, because not all that energy, ex excess energy is going to go towards building muscle mass, there's still going to be some there, which will go then to stored body fat, okay? So that's where the excess energy from the calorie surplus is going to go. Some of it's going to go to muscle mass, some of it's going to go to body fat. One of the biggest factors in determining how much is going to go to body fat is the size of that surplus. As an example, if you were to compare the size of, the cal of these different surfaces, so let's say this is a 250 calorie surplus, this is a 500 calorie surplus, this is a 750 calorie surplus, okay? As the size of that surplus increases, there is much more of a chance that the rate of body fat is going to be quicker. Okay, so there's going to be more excess energy, and chances are that's going to mean more accumulation of body fat, because again, Building muscle mass, you know, two degrees going to be limited in terms of how much muscle mass we're going to be able to build. If we're obviously think about this being a natural process, so if the calorie surplus is bigger, then that is going to lead to more accumulation of body fat. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean a bigger calorie surplus is is a bad thing, right? Especially as you're in a mass gain phase for a longer period of time, that surplus over time might need to build and build and build because we might be needing more excess energy to help with stuff like training performance, um, recovery, stuff like that. So it's not that necessarily a bigger calorie surface is bad, especially over time, but it's just understanding that the bigger the surplus, more likely means faster accumulation of body fat as well. Okay. So if we're looking or the idea is to stay relatively lean, what might be a smart idea is to start with a small surplus so therefore, you're in a surplus, you're in a decent place to add muscle mass, training performance is going to be better, recovery is going to be good, but accumulation of body fat is going to be low. 
Then as time goes on and that calorie surplus potentially needs to increase, you can then look at increasing the size of that surplus as time goes on. Yes, accepting more accumulation of body fat. As I said at the very beginning of the video, that is part of being in a calorie surplus. It's part of the process, okay? But the first thing we need to understand is that the size of the surplus is going to have an impact on the rate of body fat that you're going to accumulate. That's the first factor. The next factor we need to consider is that we can do this in different phases. If our mass gain phase is a long um, goal, a long-term goal, and we're going to be wanting to be in um, a mass gain phase for a prolonged period of time, and we understand, going from what we just spoke about, that accumulation of body fat is going to happen, then the second factor we need to consider is that we can do it in different stages, okay, to try and then manage body fat levels over a long period of time. So this might look something like this, being in a mass gaining phase, again, there's no limits on time, it would come down to individual situation, experience, again, you know, you might be in a mass gaining phase up until a point where you feel like your body fat levels have accumulated to the point where you don't really want them to accumulate any higher. Then you can go into a fat loss phase, a short fat loss phase, because again, the big picture is mass gaining. We want to be in, as, is in a mass gaining phase for as long as, as long as possible. So you might be in a short fat loss phase, which is also known as a mini cut, which is like a short period of aggressive dieting. To bring down body fat levels, but to maintain the, ma the, the, the muscle mass that you've gained, to bring down body fat levels to a place that's more manageable, where you would prefer to be, to then go back into a mass gaining phase. Okay, Again, over that time mass gaining phase, you'll likely gain body fat because you're in a surplus. But then again, towards the end of this mass gaining phase, you'd likely go back into a fat loss phase. And this sort of cycle, you'll see a lot of people do because it makes sense. It's a good way of, again, managing body fat over a long period of time. It's a good way of staying relatively lean um, over time while still adding muscle mass. Okay, If we combine that one factor of the size of our surplus, being careful with that, and we combined the factor of having multiple phases within this big long-term goal, combine those two things and that's going to be a great way to manage your body fat levels over time while you're trying to build muscle mass. Okay, But just remember, the accumulation of body fat is a natural thing when you're in a surplus. Okay? It's not something to necessarily try and hide from. Okay, because when doing that and trying to limit body fat accumulation completely, you're probably just actually then limiting your chances of building muscle mass as well. Okay, you almost have to embrace it a little bit to a degree while you're in this, this, this goal of trying to build muscle mass. But we can manage body fat levels, and that's the important thing, by looking at these two things over time. Okay, hope that made sense. Um, if you do have any questions, please drop them in the comments below, um, and we'll get back to you. If you did like the video, please drop a like, comment, and please do subscribe. Catch you later.